You're watching Talking About Orcs. In this edition of Talking About Orcs, we're going to be going over the possibilities of the next Orc Codex. As we approach, well, as it's been more than two and a half years on the current Orc Codex, I can see where the next one is actually closer than the old one, hypothetically. So there's, there's, go, there's quite a few changes that I can see being made. I'm just going to be painting while doing this video. But I'm showing you some old boring pictures like I've done in the past. Anyway, I can foresee a lot of things that need to be adjusted in the codex. Of course, I'm not going to try and you know, break anything and say, you know, we use a 3 plus involve. Oh, wait, that's only the space marines that get the 3 plus involve. Um, I got a nice little list here of things that need to be changed. Uh, so let's start with the Weird Boy. The Weird Boy is going to have to get a complete revamp uh, from start to finish because basically they're just useless. And the main thing is is either pay for particular powers instead of random, even though random is definitely orky. Pay extra to say be able to pick a power. The powers we got, you know, I really don't have a complaint about the powers themselves. I don't think we need to add in much. It would be nice to add a few more. You could pay for points. But the main thing is to add some sort of psychic defense. Uh, that's the main thing the Weird Boy needs. Because uh, if the Weird Boy had some way to cancel the psychic power, uh, that would be really, really useful for the Orcs. Um, so that's the f first thing that needs to be changed. Uh, the other HQ sections really don't. I mean, the war boss is good. There's really, no complaints about the war boss or the mech. Uh, so these other two generic HQ choices should be fine. Gazgul, you know, might see an adjustment of points upwards, some other or some other adjustments. Um, so the real question, of course, I think, is if they're going to keep the WA and the mob rule as they are, or swap them out for completely new rules again like they did when they swapped codexes last time. So that's a really good question, and I don't honestly know. I don't care one way or the other, as long as it uh, sticks with the spirit of the orcs, which is an endless tide of boys uh, clamoring to get into combat. So. It's kind of disjointed list here, I guess. It's not going to really be any flow to it. There's a lot of things they could do with the HQ section, though. So I went over the the, or, the uh, rules, which they can change. I don't care as long as it's the same, as long as it's still useful. Uh, so other HQs, named HQs, West Aka, um, I can see that just going. Maybe uh, the war boss on a bike instead of giving knobs troops turns bikes into troops, uh, which would eliminate the knob bikers as a scoring unit. Well, not eliminate them, but uh, without the war boss, they're nowhere near as good. That would be cool. It's kind of like a captain on a bike gives your bikes to be troops. War boss on a bike allows your bikers to be troops. And I heard a cat. Uh, the other things they could do with HQs is the special characters like Snickrot and Zagstruck um, is to actually screw around with the Force Org charts that say you take Zagstruck as an HQ choice and now you can take Storm Boys as troops. Or same with Snickrot. You take Snickrot as an HQ choice and now you can take Commandos as troops. And your entire army elf flank would be really, really awesome. Um, so that's the kind of things they could do. Of course, there's no way to say what they will do. It's just some ideas to toss around. Um, so I think we're done with the HQs. Let me see if there's anything else here. Okay, sees. Oh, Nasdrag. I would definitely like to see a return of Boss Nasdrag. He's got uh, BS4, I think, in Mega Armor, and he would be really cool to get back in the Codex. Um, so yeah, that just about covers HQ, so if you go on to Elites, um, the Elites could use some adjustments. Um, the main thing as I see is the blending 
of the knobs and mega knobs. I don't see those any reason for those to be two separate entries. Um, mainly it's because I just want the mega knobs to feel no pain in a war banner. Uh, oh, and ask access to the cyborgs. Of course, they would get very spendy at that point, but I'm sure they would be worth it. I mean, that's why the mega knobs are cheap compared to a knob with a power claw. It's because the, because the mega knobs don't have access to all the same gear as regular knobs, which is a shame. They should they shouldn't be that way. They should have a. Uh, the same access to stuff. Uh, yeah. Um, a lot of other choices to the elites is that knob bikers, well, it's not really just elites, but it's, it's changed to fast attack. But knob bikers should be a separate fast attack choice. You have knobs with a mega, with a mega armor upgrade option, and then the biker knobs could just be fast attack. Uh, that would kind of fix that problem. Tank busters, let's see. Uh, the next elite change is tank busters. I think uh, tank busters need an overhaul again. Uh, this time, I think making uh, giving them the tank hunter universal special rule uh, would help a lot. I give you that strength nine, and uh, I think that would definitely be a big advantage. Or the equivalent to strength nine, I guess. But yeah, I think that would definitely help the tank busters make them actually worth taking. Um, Ludas, oh yeah, please don't change my Ludas. I'm afraid that on the next codex they're going to nerf the Ludas, and it's like I, uh, I really don't want them to like nerf the one decent ranged unit we have. Uh, but I'm, unfortunately, I can see it coming because Ludas are almost too good, even as the meta game changes. You know, I know people don't like that word, but it's true. Even as the metagame changes, whether it be vehicles or infantry, or Ludas stay effective no matter what you're shooting at. Um, so, please, please don't nerf my Ludas. See, anything else in the uh, elite section? Oh, uh, um... Oh yeah, one thing I'd definitely like to see is the return of Scar Boys. Uh, either as elites or maybe as a Troop Boys upgrade. I definitely miss Scar Boys. Uh, if you don't know, Scar Boys are basically just boys but with base strength 4 instead of strength 3. They're basically uh, boys that have been around for a while and they're closer to knobs than boys. Because uh, you know, as as orcs fight on, they gain the muscle mass. That's how you become a knob, and then eventually a war boss. But you just keep fighting. Um, so I think, but I can see why they took him out because uh, orcs with strength four base and furious charge gives you that strength five on the charge, and that would be huge. That would be a big, big change in how effective they are. So, it would be nice to see them as troops, but if they do come back, they're going to be elites. And they're going to be worth every point. An entire mob of 20 orcs, boys with strength 5 on the charge. Um, yes, please. Yes, please. Um, let's see, I think that just about covers it for elites. Troops. Oh, let's talk about troops. The first thing we need to talk about for troops is the truck cost. Uh, trucks were 35 points when rhinos were 50. Now that rhinos are 35, trucks are way overpriced. Because uh, they're just not as good as rhinos, there's no doubt about that. Uh, you know, they're assault vehicles, they're good, but you know, I'd much rather be transporting my boys in rhinos than trucks. So rhinos have at least some semblance of survivability. Um, so, yeah, uh, trucks need to go down in price, maybe, you know, maybe even as low as 20 points. Or, or they need some other, or they need to be made more survivable. Give them maybe 11, or maybe 12 on the front, 
and ten in sides and back. Uh, maybe give us back the old armor plates that are on a six, basically gives them a six plus invol. Something. But trucks need a, a slight modification. Uh, let's see. I think. Oh, chopper rule. I would love to see the return of some form of a chopper rule. Uh, I definitely like the old chopper rule where you made the best armor save is 4 plus. Um, maybe we could do something like add plus 1 to wounding. So basically give them plus 1 strength. And again, we get to that same problem with the, the strength 5 on the charge boys. Or uh, choppers with scar boys where it would be strength 6 on the charge. Yeah, that would be really... Oh, never mind. So that's a bad idea. That, that'll never happen. So anyway, I'd like to see something for a chopper roll. I have to chop us some sort of special close combat weapon. And I don't know what that would be. Because obviously my idea of plus one strength isn't going to work. <laughs> um, oh, I definitely want to see also a return of the big horns, iron gobs. Which, if you take, gives you plus one leadership. Which is basically mandatory on every knob and war boss in the previous codex. And I think would definitely be mandatory if they brought it back. Because the Warboss at Leadership 10 and Noms at Leadership 8 are so much better. So much better. Um, oh, a drop pod. I would definitely like to see a drop pod of some form. Uh, with all kinds of orky badness and goodness that could happen. Uh, if when it comes down. Uh, orcs used to have drop pods back in like 2nd edition. There's an old, there, you still get the old armor cast ones on eBay from time to time, but definitely some sort of a drop pod. And high risk, high reward kind of thing, which orcs are good for. You know, there's a chance you lose the unit, but you can assault out of it. Typical orc kind of, kind of uh, stuff. Um, let's see here. Uh, more stuff. Best attack. Uh, please return the war bikers to their previous usefulness. Um, in the or in the pre current codex, they're 25 points. In the old codex, they were 35 points, but they were fearless, and they could use their um, twin link guns uh, in on the turn they charged instead of their normal attacks. So you would charge in and get you know three strength five shots with three rolls to hit uh, on the turn you charge instead of your normal close combat attacks. So, and uh, I would definitely pay ten points a piece more to have them fearless because that's the biggest problem with the war bikers is they're not fearless and they just run off the table way way too easily. And also, please, um, let's get some boar boys in there. Let's get the let's get some feral stuff in there. Um, boar boys would be cool to have back in 40k. Cavalry is definitely useful um, in 40k. Uh, they have a great charge range. I mean, just look at the Thunderwolf cavalry on um, how good they are. You know, that 24-inch potential charge range. And uh, I think uh, boar boys would be the same. Would be very useful. Those potential first turn charges would be awesome. Uh, Death copters probably need to be a little cheaper. Uh, war buggies need to be cheaper or just changed. Because I still hate war buggies. The more I play them, the more I hate them. Because um, I've been playing them all month. I played it like five games with war buggies this month, and they're just freaking useless. 